Pokemon Sleep is finally officially out worldwide and I ran to the app store yesterday to download it and I thought it'd be really fun to get my reactions and thoughts on my first night with the app. I cannot wait to see what Pokemon we got while I was sound asleep last night and I heard there's a chance that we can get shiny Pokemon too. Session one, our first night. All right, I got about seven and a half hours. That's not too bad. I'm kind of surprised since my cat kept waking me up in the night. Let's get started by checking the sleep data you collected. All right, let's do this, Professor Neroli. You tell me how this all works. Here you can see both how long you slept and your sleep score for this session. An adult can reach a sleep score of 100 by making sure they get at least eight and a half hours of sleep. That's a lot of sleep. I hardly sleep a full eight. This game really better fix my sleep schedule. Your goal is to reach 100, so try to get as much sleep as you can. Does it count if you add in naps? Is that eight and a half? Great work tracking your very first sleep session. Next, let's look at your different sleep stages. These sleep stages help show how deep your sleep is. When tracking your sleep, I classify it into three stages, dozing, snoozing, and slumbering. Okay, so I guess we're not getting into like real technical terms like REM sleep. This is a little bit easier to understand, right? Try to keep an eye on how your sleep fluctuates over time. Okay, let me see my actual data now. Hey, wow, I had a lot of slumbering time. I slept really heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I really thought that, like I said, my cat woke me up a bunch and like, especially around, you can probably see there, she woke me up around like six or so. And then she woke me up again at like nine. Recordings? I guess it didn't catch any of me snoring or anything. So I guess that's good. It took me only seven minutes to fall asleep. Dang, I think that's a new record. I only had about 52 minutes of dozing time, 50 minutes of snooze time, and five hours of that deep slumbering sleep. My goodness. So my sleep type is the slumbering type. Look at the little squirtle in the Pichu. This screen is where you can see your sleep type. Your sleep type captures the qualities of that sleep session and is decided based on comparison with your sleep past sleep. Oh no. So it's going to like compare to see like, you know, yesterday she, she was dead asleep. The next day I was tossing and turning all about. When you don't have much data yet, your sleep will instead be compared to generic sleep data. I don't feel like the average person like slumbers that deeply, do they? Build up your own data to be used for comparison and the precision of these measurements will keep going up. And I also am wondering too, like how accurate is it since it's just, all I did was I'm using my phone. I'm not using the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. So I'm just slapping my phone screen face down on my mattress. Maybe my mattress is like super good at like making sure that there's like no movements. I do have like one of those memory foam type of mattresses. I ask that you do your best to track your sleep every single day without fail. Okay, this is gonna have to be a new habit. The more I do this, the more Pokemon will catch. <gasps> Snorlax is here. Finally, let's turn our attention to drowsy power. What's that do? You see, drowsy power is what I call the mysterious power that Snorlax on these islands possess. It's a power that seems to both draw Pokemon close and lull them to sleep. This power depends on a Snorlax's strength, how much it has grown, and your sleep time. By increasing this power, you can get lots of different Pokemon to come sleep near Snorlax. I hope he's all powerful. I need all the Pokemon to come sleep with him. And then you may discover some of the rare sleep styles they can display. Now that we've covered all that, let's take a look at your drowsy power for this sleep session. It better be super powerful with my deep sleep. It just keeps going up. 3.5 million? Okay, that's a lot of drowsy power, Snorlax. Snorlax is unstoppable. Well, well, looks like this Snorlax has provided a nice, strong drowsy power again today. Let's check on our sleeping Pokemon then. <gasps> I see some cuties. It appears that Snorlax's drowsy power has drawn a small crowd here to sleep. Oh, okay, I see Squirtle and I see a Larvitar. Oh my God. Let's check on, check on the Squirtle first. The sheltered sleep, look at him in his little shell. Okay, we got 18 of something and 39 cheeses. What is that yellow thing? <laughs> it looks like cheese. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute, all curled up in his shell. One star, I have no idea what that means. It withdraws its limbs and head into its shell to sleep. It's said to do this to protect itself while sleeping when it's wary of threats. Apparently, it also sometimes rocks contendingly from side to side. Aw, it'll rock itself to sleep. Nice job registering that new sleep style in your decks. Keep it up as you research the other Pokemon here too. Wait a minute. Like Dex as in Pokédex? Are we gonna fill out a whole Pokédex? How many sleeps is this gonna take me? Is this gonna take me years to get all of them? Larvitar's next. I wonder how many Pokémon in total there are in the Dex. The stretching sleep, aww. It's just stretching out. Oh, I love him, he's just on his little belly. 
So cute. Larvitar feeds on soil. On very rare occasions, you might find one holding a half-eaten clump of earth as it sleeps. Perhaps it grew sleepy after filling its belly. I can relate to that. And also, I kind of noticed too, it looks like there's spots here for like three other pictures. Kind of reminds me of like Pokemon Snap a little bit. Like we're gonna catch them in like all their different kind of like sleep styles or something. Take some photos. You'll find that each species of Pokemon can be classified as a having a particular sleep type. And your sleep type for a given session will cause Pokemon with that same sleep type to gather. So it's the slumbering types. Oh, there's a Totodile. Oh my God, I hope we find a Totodile. Since your sleep type was deemed to be slumbering type this time, it has caused slumbering type Pokemon to gather. I also really want to find the Pichu or another Pikachu clone, because you know how Pikachu is my favorite. Slumbering type Pokemon tend to include water and ground types, but Pichu is electric. That doesn't... What? <laughs> get plenty of sleep each day to keep discovering different kinds of Pokemon. Do we get to kind of keep exploring? Oh, I see we got a Duduo. <gasps> is that a Togepi too? I saw the baby back there. The lazy lookout sleep. Oh, is it because one of the heads has its eyes open? Looking out? Oh, that's cute. Keep itself from being attacked while asleep. Due to those two heads, take turns staying awake. You'll only see both heads asleep together very rarely, perhaps only when Duduo feels completely safe. Also, that one was a two star. Why, is it because I took a better photo or what does that mean? It says it's number two, so it has, we didn't discover number one like the other ones, I guess. I saw the Togepi back there. I'm going, I'm going. <gasps> look at the sleepy egg, baby. Oh my God, look at her just rocking back and forth. How is she gonna get up? <laughs> She's so cute. That's gotta be like a five star right there. Okay, just a one star, I'll take it. Oh, that is the cutest animation I've ever seen for Togepi. It rolls around in its shell as it sleeps. Legend has it that happiness will come to those who can successfully stand up a sleeping Togepi. Do you think that she'll have a standing like sleeping position then? Or she's just kind of nodding off? Okay, let's see what else we got. No shinies so far. Be pretty great if we found one. Oh, looks like there's another Larvitar. We got two. I didn't even know you could get two of the same ones. Another stretching sleep. You studied all the gathered Pokemon. All right, we did it. I think we gathered some good ones today, especially that Togepi, so cute. Good work on that sleep research. Now I'd say it's snack time for the Pokemon. I want a snack time. I need some breakfast. And Pokemon just love eating Pokey Biscuits. Why don't we hand some out to the Pokemon here to thank them for aiding us in our studies? Who gets treats? Who gets snack time? Snorlax is obviously hungry, right? Okay, it looks like Squirtle. Squirtle gets the biscuit this time. Oh, what is that little musical note above its head? Okay, it's not playing music. I thought maybe it would like play his cry, maybe? Oh, I'm so silly. The music note is the biscuit. Munch it on up. So cute. Now you can hear his cry though. Okay, plus three points. What does that mean? What are these points? Looks like Squirtle gained some friendship points. Every day that you help me out by conducting research, I'll be sure to give you one of those bonus biscuits. Okay, we get one free bonus biscuit a day. Now why not give Squirtle a great biscuit next? Okay, we'll click on this. Oh, it looks like there's like great ball and pokeball biscuits. Is that purple one up there a master ball? I think it is. Okay, we'll give him a great biscuit. Does this help you like catch them? This seems like Pokemon Go kind of. All right, take that great biscuit. Plus three. <gasps> Are we leveling up? Max friendship points. Looks like Squirtle has maxed out its friendship points. When you get close with Pokemon like that, you can befriend them, then they can help you out too. And that's it for snack time. Why don't we take a look at the result of your research? You made serious strides in your Pokemon sleep research. Keep it up next time. Don't worry, I'll keep getting those Zs. I'll keep sleeping and sleeping. It's my favorite thing. I got a little medal on my photo. Is Professor Oak gonna come and like, tell me it's wonderful? Oh, you can change the photo. <gasps> Okay, so you can select from the different photos that you took that day. Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to do the two-star photo, but this baby Togepi. Let's pick the baby. So cute. So well, now we'll have that little picture to remember my session. So it kind of gives you a recap of like how much drowsy power and then all of the Pokemon that we saw today. That's kind of cool. We saw five Pokemon and we got some experience. 
<gasps> There's a rank. What? How high of a rank does it go? Because Pokemon Go goes to like 40 or 50 now, I think. Oh gosh. And halfway to level three. Oh, it's not cheese. It's dream shards. <laughs> it looked like cheese. Does it not look like cheese? So do you think you've got the gist of our research process? Basically, I'm asking you to help me research the sleep styles of any Pokemon that gather around Snorlax thanks to your sleep. Then we'll be able to fill in more and more entries in the sleep style decks. Gotta get all those stars. Keep resting your very best and I'm sure you and I can complete the sleep style decks no problem. Yeah, this is, we're gonna have to complete it all. Squirtle's my new partner Pokemon? Oh, he has a bold nature. Ooh, go Squirtle. That wraps up our sleep research for the moment. And while it's a bit sad, I'm afraid it's time for us to say farewell to this Snorlax. But we just met. I'm not ready to say goodbye. We'll need to find another Snorlax to help us out for the coming week. Thanks for your help, Snorlax. Take care. Bye, Snorlax. There are a lot of little islands around these parts and we seem to find Snorlax living everywhere we go. There's different islands. For now, I'd like us to focus on a research on Green Grass Isle. While you're filling in your sleep style decks, I'll get to work on some arrangements so you'll be able to access new areas in time. But for this week, go ahead and select Green Grass Isle. It looks like there we can swipe and see maybe some of the other islands. So I'm going to take a peek. Ooh, it's like a super beachy island. It's got like the palm trees and the parasails. Oh, that's cute. And the and the ocean. I wonder if you can find like different types of Pokemon at like certain types of like terrain islands. Like maybe we'll find more water Pokemon and tropical ones there. But we'll go with Green Grass Isle, the largest island in the region known for its fertile land covered with greenery it hosts the greatest variety of pokemon so you can get the most here i guess so you can kind of keep track of like how many pokemon maybe you found in that area oh it has an area dex oh my that is a lot of pokemon okay yep this dex is gonna take us a little while i think oh my god it just keeps going it just keeps going okay well at least we found four today all right back to green grass isle we go your new snorlax okay there it says he has his favorite berries and he loves curries and stews this snorlax will be your new research partner for the week nice to meet you snorlax now this is really key if you want to carry out your sleep studies nice and efficiently you must raise snorlax up to grow as big as possible. It's gonna get real chonky. The chonkier Snorlax, the better. Each week, you'll have seven days from Monday till Sunday to help Snorlax build up strength as you carry out your research. So we get seven days. Keep filling up more of your sleep style decks, and at the end of the week, it'll, it's time for us to say farewell. No! I'm gonna spend a whole week with him, and he want me to say goodbye? But that means we can move to a new site and find another new Snorlax to work with. Okay, new location sounds nice. So give it your all to raise this Snorlax up as much as you can in this week you have together. You gotta spend it to the fullest. We're nearly at the end of my lectures, I promise. Okay, it's been a bit of a tutorial. I just wanna teach you some basics of how to raise a Snorlax. Pikachu gathered up some berries while you slept, so try giving them to Snorlax. Tap Pikachu to give him some berries. Pikachu, that's a lot of berries you're hoarding. Oh my God, how did you find all of those? All right, let's get all these tapped into the picnic basket there. See, eating berries helps Snorlax build up its strength. If you keep feeding Snorlax like this, you can raise it to be big and strong. You can also cook, oh, oops, typical me just skipping through things. Gosh, that was a lot to cover all at once, but that's it. Lecture time is over. Is it time I actually get to play the game now? <laughs> I still only scratched the surface of all the things you can do here. So try poking around to discover what else you can learn. And good luck with that sleep research. Sleep tight. I'm ready for a nap. Should I just like pretend to sleep to get more Pokemon? Give Snorlax food and raise it up as much as you can before sleeping. Let Pokemon sleep check your sleep when you go to bed and study sleeping Pokemon when you wake to fill the sleep style decks. I think the studying the Pokemon is going to be my favorite part. When you're next ready for bed, press the sleep button in the bottom right of the screen. Snorlax will promptly begin snoozing, so join it in getting some shut eye after starting to track a new sleep session. Look at him eating all the berries. <gasps> we got diamonds. Is this like a monetary currency? Is there, are there gonna be like cool skins that I can buy for Pikachu and Snorlax? Okay, I got a sleep score of 89. That's pretty good. I can do better tonight though. Look at him eating all that food. It's dinner time. Okay, let's take a look around the island and see what we can find. <gasps> Squirtle's here too. Let's see what he has. Whoa, Squirtle's holding on to a bunch of stuff too. What is all this? Okay, we got some berries and some moo moo milk. Okay, all right. Oh, do you have more? Just dump out your pockets, Squirtle. Oh, I love his little cry. Okay, there's a camping set with incense and a pot. Let's check out the camp set. One ticket allows you to rent extra comfy gear for a week's worth of sleep research. Oh, so you get extra Pokemon. <gasps> Okay, and then you'll get some helpers and they'll get more berries, which in turn will get you a bigger Snorlax. Okay, how do I buy this? Is this like a buying thing? 
to the shops. Oh yeah, this is stuff you can spend money on. Oh no. Oh no, this is dangerous. <laughs> this is worse than Pokemon Go. Okay, let's get out of there. Can I click on the cooking pot? Can't use this feature yet. What about the incense? Oh, I bet the incense is kind of like in Pokemon Go as well. Cause I think when you put the incense out, it kind of lures more Pokemon in. So you can choose up to two while you're sleeping. Your chosen incenses take effect during the next research session and are used up. Oh, it looks like I already have one too. It doubles the energy that helpers recover after re sleep research. Oh, so I can get more energy with that. I might wait for that one for another night. Oh, there's Pikachu again. There's Tom Edo. Always with just a stash of berries and some apples too. Let's see kind of what else these features are. That looks like there's goals. Okay, so there's some kind of fun stuff that you can kind of work toward during like the week, I guess. And you can get more diamonds, more ingredient tickets, handy, you get more candies. Okay, that's kind of cool. So hopefully tonight in my sleep, we'll get like three more styles then. then there's there's something that's kind of flashing down here. Let's check that. It says sleep pass. With a sleep pass, you can save up sleep points based on how long you sleep. Then you can take the sleep points you've earned to the points exchange. You'll be able to trade them in for some pretty fancy items, even things like master biscuits. Okay, so that's how maybe you can buy more great biscuits and pokey biscuits too. All right, I've got 89 points because my score was an 89. I love how it's like a little credit card. Like we'll just keep racking up the points as we keep sleeping. Oh, this will also allow you to like see 30 days of your past sleep data. So this will be in here for a full 30 days. Then there is a premium pass and it says that you can try it out for two weeks for free, which I might check that out. The premium pass allows you to view unlimited sleep data. You get also another daily bonus biscuit and then you get a hundred extra points every day. Oh, wow. That would definitely help you get a lot of those biscuits fast. Then you can also unlock a diary where you can write notes on your sleep. Ooh, this is the day that Abby woke me up wanting more food at 6 a.m. Or you could also log like any kind of weird dreams that you have. Tonight, I dreamt about finding a Togepi and I found a Togepi in Pokemon Sleep. Wouldn't that be really cool? Okay, it looks like there's also a bonus too. Let's check that out. You'll receive a bonus 600 sleep points once each day for the first seven days that you conduct sleep research. You can then use these points to obtain items like master biscuits at the sleep point exchanges. Oh, that's nice. So every day we kind of keep checking in, we'll get more and more and more points. There's also missions. So missions are different than goals. We've got different, couple different things to try to do. There's only three days remaining on these. Oh no. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. There's quite a few missions we got to do. I like that it'll give you a hint too. Okay, Snorlax is looking pretty hungry. He wants some dinner. Okay, time to fess up. I still have one lecture in me. It's about a great way to help Snorlax grow big and strong. Let's give cooking a whirl so we can make this Snorlax stronger than ever. I was gonna say that's the goal is to make him stronger and stronger so we can get more, more and more points, right? And more Pokemon. Ready to start the cooking tutorial? One more tutorial left. I readied some ingredients you'll need for cooking. So here you go. Hey, it's those fancy apples. Pikachu found a lot of those too. Can we make some apple pie for Snorlax? You can try your hand at cooking up to three times a day. Snorlax needs three meals. These are morning, afternoon, and night. So try to remember to do some cooking when you have the chance. So right in the morning for breakfast, then Snorlax can have lunch with me and then we'll have dinner together. Get cooking. This Snorlax, remember this Snorlax liked curries and stew. So let's see if we make one of those. Each Snorlax will request the type of dish or treat that it likes best. Looks like this week's Snorlax wants to eat curries and stews. I remembered. I remembered, Neroli. To start things off nice and easy, let's have you make a dish using the auto cook option. If only I had an auto cook option in my kitchen, that'd be nice. Want to toss 15 random ingredients together and see what comes out? That sounds like a stew to me. Oh, I put the apples in the moo milk. Oh, it's a little Magikarp fan. Oh, that's cute. People are born as early risers or night owls. It's said to be extremely hard for night people to deliberately become morning people. I'm the night owl. It's me. <laughs> Cooking up that stew. It's gonna be a yummy, like warm apple stew, I think. Fancy apple curry. Whoa, that's a lot of points. Congratulations, you've cooked your first dish. Let's go give Snorlax a taste. Snorlax better like my cooking. Oh my God, look at him eat it up. Go Snorlax. I also like how Squirtle's like, can I, can I have some, please? I'm, I'm, I'm here too. Did you see how Snorlax's strength shot right up after eating that dish? Eating your cooking will help Snorlax build more strength than berries. So cook every day to help Snorlax grow. I wish it would, I wish I would have known about the meals. I would have done them today. The kind of dish you'll end up with when you cook will depend on the combination of ingredients you put in the pot. Your helper Pokemon may occasionally pick up ingredients for you to keep. So keep an eye out to gather their finds. And that's it for my cooking lecture. Thanks for listening in. Oh, and we got even more apples. 
We're gonna have curry for days for Snorlax. Well, this will be like a fun little place and a fun way to kind of keep track of my sleep and start some new good habits, hopefully for myself. I really like the idea of this app so far and it's been really fun and it'll be something cool to like kind of look forward to the next day to kind of keep seeing what Pokemon I get for my Pokedex. Let me know down below in the comments what Pokemon you got on your first night of Pokemon Sleep. And also if you think this would be like kind of a fun series that you'd like me to keep up and keep checking my Pokemon every day. And of course, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on all things Nintendo.